Kia ora everybody, welcome to the Tulloch Clan channel and we are just testing out some new tech so I thought I would come on and say hello we're really flying ahead now, we've got ourselves a microphone amazing, I know uh, so today's topic, I want to talk to you about uh, something that's kind of a pet peeve that always annoys me whenever I'm down the local park and I think this is something that the government should do in New Zealand. I really think a law, a bylaw should be introduced so that all children's playgrounds have shade. Now the next time you go out to a playground I want you to take a really good notice of how much shade is available and I've really been noticing this over the past three and a half years now that I've got a couple of young kids I've got a ten month old and a three and a half year old and it is really really hard to find a park with shade so why is this? I've got no idea we've got one of the highest rates of melanoma we've got one of the highest rates of skin cancer in the world everybody knows there's a friggin hole in our ozone layer so why are we not using our brains and providing shade over the top of these playgrounds where our children are playing. There's a playground in my local community that I'm not kidding you cost a million dollars to install. How can any playground cost a million dollars and not have overhead cover? Even stupider, there is a little seated area and it's got like a little gazebo pergola area and the pergola is just like slats of wood with no cover. Now whoever came up with the pergola gazebo concept of not actually providing shelter in a gazebo where it's just like open air and there's these slats over above you is some sort of artistic wanker because that has no practical use at all for providing shade or stopping the, the rain coming in. So I, if I was the Prime Minister of this country, one of the first things that I would do was, is that I would introduce compulsory shade at all of our parks so that we can look after our kids and keep them out of the sun. It's even got to the point where we will specifically go and look for parks that have shade. Now a really good park out there is Balmoral. Okay, Balmoral in Auckland, and I'm talking like, we're talking about, we, we have to drive like, I know, first world problems, 15 kilometres down the road avoiding other parks so that we can go have like a long sustained period of play uh, rather than constantly applying sunscreen and then getting our kids out of the sun every half hour or whatever okay this is just common sense stuff that you would think that councillors uh, people in power would sort out now why is this so blatantly obvious to me now Millen and I you may not know but we are both raised in Cairns, okay, over in Australia. So I moved over to Australia when I was nine. Millen was born and bred there her whole life. Now, obviously it's effing hot over in Australia, but they are a lot more sun smart. They're a lot more conscious of uh, really hot weather, and they're a lot more conscious of wearing hats, providing shade for kids. So why can't our councillors, why can't our politicians get out there set aside a little bit of money, make sure that our parks have shade and get this happening. I think we could actually have less parks but more parks with shade. So if you go around anywhere around Auckland there's like reserves set aside for kids to play at and reserves set aside for parks. There's literally so many parks. We need to centralize these parks. The kids can cycle a little bit further. Hey, we can travel three or four k's, no problem. Get to these parks with shade, make them awesome parks. The kids will have a good time. People aren't catching melanoma. People aren't catching this skin cancer in their youth. And it works out better for everybody. That is us team. That is my topic for the day. Hope you enjoyed. Cheers. Bye.